Hey everybody, Spade Rod Billy here, doing, doing song number 430 in 430 days in a row. We're doing one song a night, one song a day, every day, until the uh, COVID-19 pandemic is brought under control and we can go out and play some regular gigs again with the whole band, including drums and guitars and more keyboards. Please check out our website, straydog.org, where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy, short for Stray Dog Bill Arnold. We'll talk about that in a minute. After today's song, this is John Prine's uh, Speed of the Sound of Loneliness. Here we go. You come home late, you come home early. Come on big when you're feeling small You come home straight, you come home curly Sometimes you don't come home at all What in the world's come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? the sound of loneliness You're out there running just to be on the run Well I got a heart burns with a fever I got a word in a jealous mind How can a love that last forever Get left so far behind What in the world's come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? You've broken the speed of the sound of loneliness You're out there running just to be on the run Guitar solo here Shame in a dirty sorrow Cross the evil line today How can you talk about tomorrow We ain't got one word to say What in the world's come over you John Bryan, Speed of the Sound of Loneliness. Yes, check out our website, straydog.org. That's where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy. After co-founding that no-kill dog shelter, we named Stray Dog back in 1994. We, it, that's when we got started, in 94. We became a Texas nonprofit corporation in 1997 with the official name Stray Dog Incorporated, and then that led to applying for and receiving from the IRS 501c3 tax exempt status, making all donations and contributions to the shelter, Stray Dog Incorporated, tax deductible to the fullest extent of the law. We're still going strong today, still rescuing, rehabilitating, and rehoming formerly homeless, formerly stray dogs and sometimes cats. And we're going to keep on doing this until there is no more overpopulation problem uh, across the, the United States of America and ultimately around the world. Adoptions across the entire 
country are doing better and better every single year. If you look back for the last 50 or uh, more years, uh, we're getting, we get better and better and better every single year. Adoptions in 2019, we have full figures, 3.2 million dogs and cats were adopted out in 2019. And that was uh, about 1.6 million dogs and 1.6 million cats. Uh, it happened to be an equal, uh, almost an equal number. And uh, that's a whole lot of animals got saved, got to live. 4,400 per day dogs were rescued, rehabilitated, and rehomed. 4,400 per day cats across the entire nation were, uh, got, to, got to find homes, got to live. This is a tremendous accomplishment. All shelters deserve our financial support. Uh, now, on the other side of this problem, though, we are still euthanizing just to get rid of extras that we can't adopt out, that we haven't been able to adopt out. We are euthanizing every single day 1,700 dogs and cats across this entire nation. There are a lot of areas now where it's illegal to use euthanasia for anything other than uh, uh, terminally ill uh, animals who may be suffering and uh, fatally injured animals who may be suffering. That's what euthanasia is for, to put them out of their misery so they don't have to suffer. Okay, that's what euthanasia is for. But we, as a nation, as a society, have been using it for years and years and years. In fact, not only are we still euthanizing 1,700 today, 10 years ago it was far worse. 7,000 per day in 2011. 7,000 dogs and cats were uh, euthanized every single day of the year uh, 2011. And back 51 years ago in the year 1970, we were euthanizing 41,000. So 41,000 dogs and cats, not for the whole year, every single day, 41,000. That, that's just a horrible tragedy and we gotta stop this. Now, in addition to more and more adoptions, which we're doing all the time, because we got to adopt out all the ones that have already been born. That's obviously what we have to try to do. Now, we're not doing so well because we're still euthanizing 1,700 per day, but we're doing a lot better than we used to be, as I just pointed out. So what do we have to do to get this 1,700 down to zero? We got to put more and more emphasis on Conception control, stopping conception. If you stop conception, mama dogs, mama cats, without papa dogs and papa cats won't keep on giving us litter after litter after litter of puppies and kittens and puppies and kittens that we aren't gonna be able to adopt out all of them. We're still at 1700, so we're not, we're not, we haven't cured this problem yet. So what do we gotta do to get concept, control of conception? It's simple in the dog and cat kingdom. It's spay and neuter. Spay and neuter, everybody. Spay and neuter your pets, and we will end this problem and be done with it.